Welcome to Tip Tuesday. I'm Tyler, and today I'll be showing you a fun hidden trick that allows you to add a GIF to your lock screen messages in GoGuardian Teacher. Students enjoy communicating through visuals, and the ever so popular internet GIFs are an especially fun way to customize your screen message when you're locking your student's screen. Adding images and GIFs to the lock screen requires a tiny trick, but it's fairly simple. You'll first need to find the direct link to an image or GIF of your choice. Using a website like Giphy is a really easy way to find GIFs. First, I'm going to search for a GIF, find one I like, and then I'm going to click on it. Then, I'm going to go click Copy Link and copy the GIF link URL. We want to make sure our link ends with .gif. That way we know it's a link directly to the image file. You can also add a URL directly if you have one handy. For images, JPEGs work best because they're small and they'll load quickly. For this exercise, we're using a GIF to communicate a teacher's most common classroom command, asking students to settle down. Now that we have our direct image link, head back to teacher and select a student to lock. Enter an exclamation point and then two square brackets, followed with an open parenthesis, the link, and end it with a closed parenthesis. The result should look something like this. And there you go. You now have images or GIFs on your lock screen, which will catch a student's attention much more than a simple text message. After using this function a few times, you'll get a hang of the symbols needed, and the keystrokes will become second nature. Just be sure to keep your library of GIFs handy. To make it super easy on yourself, you can create a Google Doc and store your favorite GIF links already formatted and ready to go. That way, you can just copy and paste them quickly from your GIF doc, rather than having to type them in each time. Thanks for watching this week's Tip Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips. And as always, thanks for letting us be part of your classroom.